Hey guys, this is Ranjit here. In this video, we're gonna have an introduction to space climb. Okay, so we all know that ANSYS have a two different uh, geometry editing tool. Uh, one is space climb and another one is design modular. So in the past sessions, uh, we always preferred with the I mean design modular, but it's better to uh, shift over to space climb uh, because uh, the design modular one is a traditional tool. Uh, it's not that much user friendly. So space climb. Uh, specially made up for ANSYS geometry editing purpose you can easily import the IGS or step file from any other CAD source so you can model in CAD or Creo and then you can re-edit the model using space climb or else if you want to create a complicated model inside the space climb it's very very easy and we have uh, so many advanced tools over here and like always uh, we'll have the uh, introduction to the graphics user interface and let's say the basic tools uh, what we used in the space climbs okay so it's more or less similar to the solidworks or any uh, nx or some designing softwares okay so nothing new in the software only the few uh, added tools are there so we'll be explaining uh, clearly on this playlist okay uh, first thing first so at the top we have the ribbon bar like file and then sketches displays assembly measure so you can do assemblies on uh, space climb itself also because if you want to do the assemblies in uh, design modular it's much more complicated and uh, so many tabs are there so we'll be looking for the each and every tabs when we come to that part and uh, if you are in the design part uh, you'll have uh, so many tools and accordingly if you shift over to one bar to another ribbon bar so the dynamically the options will be get changed based upon it so suppose if i want to do a geometric repair or something like that i can go to the repair page and related to the workbench operations like uh, extracting the mid surfaces uh, deleting the share and share topologies this kinds of things is comes under the workbenches so let us start with the sketches okay so the sketching option is more or less uh, similar to the solidworks so all you need to do here is uh, you need to pick any planes so right now you have the xy plane and then uh, xz plane so you can choose any plane if you want to shift over the plane you can go here okay so other than that uh, in the side like uh, we have the design tree and we have one coordinate system using this by just clicking on the mouse center button you can pan it at all so that's the navigation and for the zoom in and zoom out just scroll in and scroll out to the zoom in zoom out it's pretty common so suppose if you want to draw any rectangle or anything all you need to do here is just pick the desired tools like whether you want a line or a circle or a rectangle okay let's say i need a rectangle so i'll pick this one as soon as you click on this rectangle uh, you can start away the drawing from this plane so right now the x and z plane is get activated so that whatever the sketch i draw over here is only drawn on the x and z plane okay so uh, then after the sketch is completed how can i convert the sketch into a uh, solid model that's the next question okay so here you don't have any direct options like extrude or extrude cut i mean we usually know that like uh, whenever we created a closed loop we always use a extrude option to add up a volume and suppose if you want to remove the volume we used to uh, we supposed to use the extrude cut option but ANSYS space climb is introduced a new methodology like it's not like a new methodology uh, if you are using the uh, AutoCAD 3D they are also having the pull uh, and push tool so here we have an option called pull so when I click on the pull so all we need to do here is if you have a closed loop just click on this one and right away drag it out whatever the distance you need like uh, whether you can use your mouse up and down to add the volume or else if you want to give the desired value like i want to 40 you can give that 40 and say enter so the desired height you will get okay so this is one thing so the pull tool is very very important in uh, space climb because most of the options we always preferred with this pull tool and the remaining sketch tools is much more common like the drawing of line and then circle rectangle everything seems to be a common one okay uh, what suppose if i don't need the sketch on the x set i need the sketch on the x and y so in search situation so i'll say control set uh, maybe uh, i'll pick the rectangle again and i'll change the plane so right now i'll have the option to shift over so all you need to do here is you need to choose the perpendicular plane accordingly the plane will be created okay so these are all the basic 
uh, things like uh, in SOLIDWORKS, we supposed to choose the front line and then a top line and then right line, right? They exactly the same thing. So just go here and then if you want to draw the sketch in Y and X, you can choose the Z as a perpendicular axis. As soon as you click on the plane shifting has happened, then you can start the sketches from here itself. Okay, so you can give the values as it is also. That's not an issue. So yeah we have so suppose like uh when i try to enter the value it's only happened over here so want to change this value also just press tab okay these are all some key points like whenever you watch this tutorial you can make it as a uh, i mean uh, short notes so while you doing the exercise that will be helpful for you okay so yeah i'm not going to explain all of these things like line circles and then rectangle seems to be a common one just uh, make an experiment with us like play with the tools uh, i'll tell you like what is the importance of and then significance in the pull and then what are the options inside it okay uh, for that i'll open a one basic model so to import a model i'll go here and uh, open this file okay so now we have uh, this kind of files based upon this things uh, i'll explain pull so how exactly the pull option is works okay so when i zoom in here you can notice that there will be a line okay so the pull is not about like always you need a closed loop to extrude or uh, or extrude cut okay so even if you have a line segments you can use the pull tool uh, to extrude into a surfaces okay so we usually uh, whenever the line has uh, doesn't have any thickness at all like, uh, when you try to extrude it it will be extruded as a surfaces the same thing happened here so when i click on the pull okay so after i am clicking on it uh, you might be noticed that like so many options are there in the structures we have the add that no match and some other options are here so we'll be explaining each and everything uh, in that upcoming session but for now uh, how can i use the pull tool uh, at, at a very basic stages okay so just click on this line so as soon as i click on the line so you can notice that there is a yellow color indication that indicates the direction of extrusion so either i can extrude the line in this direction or else i can extrude the line in this direction okay so if i try to extrude in this direction around 180 uh, 180 mm or 200 mm I'll just leave it okay so it can make it as a surfaces after making it as a surface uh, why I said it's a surface is it doesn't have any thickness at all okay if you want to add any thickness at all again you can use the X to I mean the pull tool to add some thickness or else you can make it as a block also now it's a 3d one okay so you can uh, notice one thing like uh, if you want to undo it like just use the control set so I'll show you uh, the, what happened in the design tree so the design tree is uh, dynamically updated so when i uh, try to draw the sketches so you can notice that like uh, it will be shown in the previous like curves it will be shown so i'll show you so this seems to be curves this line is like after i extruded it see suddenly i'll have a surfaces after i extruded into a solid it will be converted into that surface is converted into a solid as simple as that so basically if you draw any sketches that will be noted down as a curves if you draw any surfaces that will be indicated in a surface if you draw uh, solids it will be shown in a solid that's what it means okay so using this tool you can do uh, anything so even if you want to extrude the edges also furtherly i can pick this edge and i can extrude either in this direction or else suppose if you want to extrude it just click over this arrow okay as simple as that okay what will happen like uh, but at the beginning stage when i click on this line i only have the two options either i can drag this line in this direction or in this direction only the z pulling is enabled suppose if you want to shift uh, the direction of pulling it's pretty simple so control z when you click on this line uh, make sure just press the alt button so alt key in your keyboard and choose this axis in which axis you want to pull this line segment so i'll choose the alt key and i'll choose x now i can pull this line along the x axis as simple as that see so instead of extruding in the z direction so i'll just make the extrusion in the x axis as simple as that that's good. Cool.
so using this you can do multiple options like even if you want to make it as a uh, square surfaces that's simple like i can just uh, okay not in this direction mm, maybe i'll pick this and then i'll use here and again i'll use here okay so how much distance I, I want to extrude the surface exactly up to this point so that i can use an option called up to so i'll choose up to and pick this edge now the extrusion will be happened uh, accordingly to the up to the surface only okay similarly i can extrude this one so i want to i mean uh, extrude the surface up to this one this edges so i'll say up to this edge now it will be a closed one want to close it like the same procedure so you can pick this one and extrude up to this one okay now it's a surface model so this is the uh, basic extrude tool like uh, you can extrude the line segments in whatever the direction you want similarly uh, like i said before using that uh, pull option you can add a volume to a surfaces right now we have on surfaces and i'll make it as a surface one uh, whatever the distance it may be uh, literally also you can just double tap on it and change the distance to 100 or something else then even if you have a surfaces which is offsetted from an object want to cut out make some holes or anything so you can use the pull tool to make some cool cutouts see so using the single pull tool you can uh, make the i mean adding of the material and then removing of the material everything you can done so that's the uh, i mean greatest advantage in the space climb okay uh, in some cases suppose uh, if you want to make uh, some fillers or anything how can i do that sir? so that will be the next question uh, it's pretty common like using the pull tool also you can do the fillers or chamfering options for that you have to pick the edges see as soon as i click on the edges i'll have an arrow so just click on this arrow and uh, just move it outside so the fillet size will be get added want to control that you can like right now the value will be shown here right like 5 mm or 4 mm 3 mm you can do that okay what suppose uh if i don't need the fillets i need the chamfer option yeah so at the bottom here in the general properties uh, you'll have the clear options okay so that itself so go here and then uh, you can change that stuff so right now it's set to uh, round fillet right if you want chamfer you can say it as a chamfer that's the cool thing so instead of making a uh, fillet now it's been uh, created as a chamfer okay that's one thing uh, not only for this circular edges maybe you can choose for a multiple edges at the same time for that just click on i mean make sure you are pressing control choose all these line segments okay now the all the line segments are get selected and uh, now i can use this thing it will be created of chamfer like you don't need the chamfer like you can use the fillets also that's not an issue see now it's created a fillet so these are all the basic things okay what suppose other options like uh, we just see the round fillets and then chamfers and what about the extrude edges yeah like i said before like not only the lines you can also extrude the edges also suppose if i want to extrude this edges on a particular direction so i can pick this edge and i'll say i want to extrude this edge on either on this direction or else that direction you can extrude it so now this edge will be extruded as a surfaces cool right uh yeah you can use uh if you want to extrude this edges furtherly that's also possible i'll pick this edge again i'll extrude in this direction yeah that's possible this is one thing by using that extrude edge option you can extrude a solid edges that is one thing okay then or else uh, what about the next like yeah if i pick this edges uh we have copy edges also so copy edges is mostly used to split the surfaces into a multiple pieces so when i click on the copy edges uh i can copy this edge to here now what happened here is i i just copy this edge to here now i have one surface here and another surface here i mean literally this surface is, is split into a two pieces so what is the great advantage is like suppose if i want to extrude the spaces i can add the solid over here 
or else if you want to remove the solid you can by this way you can i mean uh, it's pretty cool like easily you can modify the solids uh, rapidly so that's what it means and that is copy edges and the last option is pivot edges so pivot edges means like the changing or uh, change the entire shape of the component we use the pivot edges maybe i'll show you the example like i'll pick this edges uh, after i pick this edges i'll say uh, it's pivot edge then when i try to move this edge like you can notice that like how the phases are get changed so not only on a single direction you can use it on a multiple directions also like even i can increase or decrease these things that's also possible literally we just change the entire shapes so based upon the edges so that's what uh, pivot edges it's not a too complicated one so i'll add this uh, i mean tutorial file in the descriptions also uh, you can try it that i mean download that file and then uh, open the space climb in your laptop and then just take a look on it okay so this is one thing and uh, regarding this one like uh, in the pull tool uh, usually when i try to pull this option always the pulling is on the normal direction what suppose if i don't need the normal direction extrusion i need to uh, extrude the surface or uh, edges or anything like uh, uh, normal line segments in a particular direction based upon a vector something like that so the same thing exactly happened here okay so i'll delete this one so suppose if you want to delete anything in the design model i mean space climb it's pretty common you have the two selection tools so i'll explain the selection tools in the upcoming sessions but for now you can use a whole selection tool and select this thing and say delete it out so just use the delete key in your laptop that's it as simple as that then the thing is like here i have a surface suppose if i want to extrude the surface along this line segment it's pretty common like i'll go with the pull option so as soon as i click on the pull option uh, maybe here we have the so many options like round filler and then chamfer extrude edges uh, copy edges and then pivot edges other than that if you notice down that like here also we have some direction and then revolve uh, these things so i'll be explaining these options in upcoming videos like uh, as of now what we just seen is uh, what is the basic gui of a space climb and uh, how to do the uh, basic geometrical editing and creating choosing of lines and extrude so i don't need to explain this add and cut and no much so we'll be explained in the upcoming session and we also take a look on the round and then chamfer and these options so in our upcoming session so i'll be explaining this tools like uh, from this uh, we'll see that options like revolve and then sweep how it's exactly what it looks like okay so that is all for this video and if you want the series uh, let me know in the comment section okay that's it